All right, once again, running back floor nine. We have a pretty good win record on the day, but I'm hoping to continue, get some more wins with unique synergies. And new items and symbols. Let's take a beer, maybe get a dwarf. We'll take, oh, let's take a three-sided die for early game. How about a B for the flower? All right, I like it. And then I'll take, well, I have a beer, so I guess I'll take a wine. Dwarves are always already nuts. I'm gonna go lock pick here. And we're gonna go with an early bubble. Nice, okay. Have I ever gotten a Robin Hood run? Yeah, it was my first run with the new update. Anyways, looking at these, I'm going item capsule. Black pepper. All right, awesome. Destroying symbols like lucky capsule. There we go, this could make a run. Show me, I don't know, something good. Oh, silver arrow, sure. Yeah, that makes a run. Do I have, I have a lot of empties right now. So let's take blue pepper. I have a ton of empties. And I probably will for a while. Uh, I have lockpick, so we go lockbox. <laughs> Another anchor. I think I skip here. I don't even want anchor. I would probably take a tuper that has a bit more synergy down the line, but not an anchor. I mean, that's killing my arrow, but we have blue pepper to make up for it. Robin Hood for the arrows. Absolutely, yes. Um, you all know what Robin Hood does. You, you've seen the footage. Robin Hood synergizes with arrows, with targets, and apples, billionaires. There's a lot good with Robin Hood. Hexadraining with Robin Hood is interesting synergy. Well, okay, there's also a chance that Hexadraining really screws over Robin Hood. <laughs> but I mean, what are the odds, right? The odds are so low, and it'll just be funny if it happens. I'm gonna take it. Checkered flag for Robin Hood. Like, if it hit Robin Hood now, minus four would become zero. That's what I consider a win. Thinking about a bounty hunter. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to take thieves, so bounty hunter is pretty good. And we hit the arrow synergy. I will probably go sapphire. That's all right. We still have blue pepper, so it works out. All right, this is an excellent start. I'm just, again, hoping we can convert. I'm going to go coconut half here. It's kind of an excellent start, but there's also a lot this run is missing. You know, like actual items or actual symbols. Billionaire is nice if the Robin Hood eats. It's also another target for the Hexadraining. Ooh, okay. Thinking a bear here. Anthro- Oh, um, Anthropology degree, because I have Robin Hood. And I have a Billionaire and I have a Bounty Hunter. Yeah, let's go Anthropology. Still hoping to get something a little bit more special. Like we did the billionaire thing already with the Robin Hood, but it actually might work this time. Maybe a toddler? Toddlers were two, and I think I still want candies and stuff. I don't know, it's worth two, it eats. Oh yeah, we have a wine for the billionaire to buff. Incredible. Bar of soap, we have a toddler, we feed that. All right, there goes the billionaire, we tripled it. Glorious hit. Okay, very killer start right now. I will go buffing capsule, actually. And we get rusty here. I don't have any triples, but we will eventually. Well, hopefully. And when we do, rusty gear will be nutty. Uh, lockbox is just money. Thanks to lockpick. Yeah, we're still not getting anything special. No! No! My toddler! Rip! That was gonna be like a 20 per. Yeah, I hate to see it. All right, Hexa Draining. You've yeed your last haw. Hey, these suck. Why, why am I thinking about it? The only reason I'm not removing this Hexa Draining is because I still need stuff. And it's positive, you know, 90 out of 100 turns. Zoroff is not what I want here. Robin Hood's good. I'm going to go Billionaire. Ooh. Oh, Looting Glove. Yeah, Looting Glove for the Billionaire. And because I have Lockpick. I'll just keep skipping. Skip until I just get something better. Yes! The billionaire has been eight. 54 from him now. Well, again, I think I'll still take. I probably would take an urn. It's just the anthropology run. Ramen on the fourth rent payment. Congrats. Lockbox for free money. Oh, was this the good Robin Hood? This was the good Robin Hood! Target for the Robin Hood and Arrow. 
Just keep coasting off of it. Nice, hit the arrow. What the? Does Ludiglyph buff target? Oh my god, it does! <laughs> That's insane! Dude, Looting Glove is so good right now. I mean, I do have a Hex with Witch and a Cat. And wait, hey, Witch is worth three. Okay, no, we take Witch. It's worth three. We have two hits. Happy Hour is excellent, so I'll take it. Do I remove anything yet? I'm gonna send off the Cherry. You do nothing. Please break. No, I didn't break. Oh, Dwarf. Oh, there we go. We got Happy Hour and we got Booze. And we got an Anthropology degree. What's not to love? Thief! I have a bounty hunter. We'll take him. Also synergize with Robin Hoods. Now I kind of really don't want to get rid of the Hex. Yo, <laughs> that was a huge thing. I actually might go Hex of Emptiness here. Just because I have a Witch. I don't hate skipping. Even though I don't get anything from it. Ooh, doubled the cat that drank the milk. Yeah, we have a lot of cool synergies here. Bronze arrow or buffing capsule? I'm gonna take arrow. Crow was interesting, but I don't think crow is that good just because I'm a witch. All right, S gaining on rent, crushing it. Spirits because I have witch? Might as well. It's just good too. I think I'm gonna take yellow pepper. Nice, we do hit the spirit with the witch. This run is, uh, you know, it has everything. Is Robin Hood, is hexes, is arrows. It has it has a lot of minor synergy. Anthropology degree is excellent. Okay, that's fine. Maybe the skipping hex wasn't worth it. Because we definitely slipped during that red cycle. Okay, tomb is nice. I got a hooligan. I got a witch. I'll take booster pack for sure. I could probably get rid of the hex now. I do have a toddler. I think I do will stay, still take the candy. I will take the milk still. Don't want anything here. And I'll take a bubble. Lucky capsule. Awesome. And wealthy capsule. Just a bunch of capsules. I have a bear, right? I do have a bear. Let's go, honey. And then let's get rid of our hex of emptiness. And yeah, I'll send off the pearl. Thank you, arrows. Ah, uh, we did get a farmer. I mean, I'll take the farmer. Could have justified the apple further, but it's not the end of the world. All right, so there, there's our bear eats. Wonderful bear eats. Damn, these arrows are disappointing now. Hopefully we'll make rent. I'm not scared, am I? Maybe I could look for something. Even a tedium capsule's fine. Okay, there we go. We broke the, um... Good, 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 good. We broke the uh, thing. <sighs> I mean, at least we're gonna make rent. It's scary though, it's like really, really slipping. Barely. We're 95 over, which is very dicey. Uh, I think it's Mrs. Fruit. Definitely not King Midas, <laughs> that's for sure. Let's, uh, let's go Mrs. Fruit, at least that's someone to feed. Like, Mrs. Fruits, at least the Threeper, gets this off the board, easily feedable. Oh, but then Farmer... Wait, no! Farmer doesn't synergize with Coconut Half. Dude, I feel like I need Zaroff. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this run is. Maybe I'd actually take Zaroff. Spirit, temporary four. So, Spirit, I think, is a noob trap. People see a Spirit be like, oh, it synergizes with the Witch! But at most, let's say Hyrule's, at most we'll get 32 coins from it. I think I need to do something that's better. Even Joker does better. Joker gets 40, right? Four times 10. Yeah, Joker's actually a better short-term item than Spirit. Just doing the math, right? 40 versus 32. And it's not gonna hit 32. It's probably gonna hit like 24. So we're gonna take Joker. So what, reroll to get a, a third of a coin extra per spin? Sure. I love it. Exactly what I wanna see. Golden Egg, sure. Why not? Lockbox can blow up at least. We did get some good hits at least. Like that was a very good spin. I guess I could go earn for the hooligan. Somehow we're keeping okay pace. If we make f less than 50 per, like 48 on average, we hit rent, which is really close. We sometimes don't make 50. Okay, that's fine. 
We made 50 here. We, all right, we take Void Stone for sure. Okay, that's just barely 50. It's so close. I guess I because I've reroll, I take five side die, and then I try to get rid of something Garbo. But, like this is awful, but I mean we need to do a subtle improvement. My worst item is probably the cat. Oh, these rerolls did nothing. All right, good. We're gonna make rent only barely. I might even take a beer for the dwarf. It gives two in the meantime, and then it'll pay out pretty well, eventually. All right, so we did barely make it. We have one reroll if needed. Well, okay, we got a couple interesting ones. Cow and Beastmaster. Cow has farmer, but I mean, it's mostly worth the three. Beastmaster's worth three. How many animals do I have? I have one bear, and that's it. Yeah, these are just three purrs. I'd need something better. Yeah, I have to do something better. Yeah, silver arrow. Excellent. Yeah, silver arrow. Awesome, awesome. And we got bear synergy. Okay. Love it. Do we remove? We could. So it's the B first, because the farmer can still buff the flower. There's also a temptation to get rid of the hexa draining, because of how unlucky we can get with it. But the thing is, I kind of have to high roll here, so I have to take that risk. If I'm offered a Zoroth, I think I would take it, to be honest. I think that would give me decent immediate money and save me here, because 51 per is not good. I have to hit basically 709 spins. I need like 65 on average, give or take. Ooh, okay, good arrow at least, I think. Yes, okay. There's a start, take an item capsule. Okay, whatever. Not great. Okay, good hex. Gotta keep around the three purrs. Good spin, that's, that's good. Hex of Midas, huh? I don't think I risk it that hard. So I'm gonna skip. Oh, please have this point left. No, it didn't, but that's fine. This is a good one. Okay, we're actually on track. This is scary close. Oh boy. We just need to continue getting uh, good arrow hits and we've got this. The silver arrow was a godsend. Even that's fine. We have four spins to get 240. We need like 60 on average. Oh, this is gonna be close. I don't think I take the monkey for the coconut half. Maybe the urn for the hooligan. Because we have an empty, uh, another empty. And if we hit, we did hit. Please. Oh, this is so close. I don't know if I have this. That was a good roll. Okay, good arrows. Good, good arrows, please. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. We don't take anything here. We need like 45 on average for these next two. And we're gonna get a Robin Hood. If this point's left, we for sure win. Okay, it didn't, but that's fine. Still good. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've done it. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, we're probably fine. Yeah, we've gotta be. Let's go. <laughs> what a tight win. Wow, that was intense all the way through. Just, this deck had almost nothing going for it, but Robin Hood Arrow was the savior here. And Witch, Robin Hood Arrow Witch. That was min-maxing to the maximum degree. Holy crap.